I'm noticing every day that a larger audience of people, both young and old, are working really hard to better their financial position, but they all started somewhere just like myself. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and in today's video, I'm breaking down how to get started when you don't really have any idea how or where to begin. When I first started getting my finances into check, I did have some direction and an understanding of where and how to find resources to help me improve on my processes. However, even with all of that knowledge, it still took hard work and consistency to achieve what I have built today. By all means, I'm not ready to retire just yet or anything like that but I am very comfortable in my financial position and I would say that I have achieved many financial milestones for my age. With that being said, my current knowledge and skill set on the topic of finance compared to back when I started my financial journey is much more refined and much more understood and I'm much more comfortable in that space now. I guarantee that you will be somewhere along the line of having no clue all the way up to being very comfortable in that space. So if you fall somewhere on this line, this video is probably going to be applicable to you. Let's begin. The number one thing that I would recommend doing at the very beginning of your journey is to get perspective. There is an absolute mountain of resources available out there, which can give you consistent, great financial advice and information for free. To cover a few bases, here are some books that I would highly encourage you to read because regardless of the country you're in, within them are ideas that can be applied no matter what your currency is, no matter what your country is, it will be applicable or certain aspects of it will be applicable to you. The three on my list would be The Barefoot Investor, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. I myself have used and collected ideas from each of these books and put them into action, which have basically built the crux of my financial setup where I track my expenses and I'm very cautious of how I spend my money and how I break up my wage. Just to name a few examples, I encourage you to look for books and resources in the format of books which are applicable to your country of origin because ultimately there will definitely be resources in existence which are cheap if not free that you can access right now to help you on this journey. The next resource I'm going to cover is YouTube and podcasts. Now this is an obvious one but here's why. You may be listening to me right now, maybe you're paying full attention, maybe you're just listening to me in the background and that's the key point here is that for topics like this, I know that the topics that I make are relatively dry. The content that I'm making is not the most entertaining content. You don't necessarily need to watch me talking on screen. I don't do anything, I don't go anywhere, but what I'm talking about is relevant. So the way I consume content like this is I might be having a shower and I'll just put it on the background and I'll listen and I'll, I might be driving and I'll be listening to a video or a podcast in the car. I might be at the gym places that I'm technically going to be no matter what, I make the most of it. I kind of kill two birds with one stone. While I'm working out, I'm also kind of working my brain out. Keep that in mind for what I'm about to cover. My go-tos are The Minority Mindset, Andre Jick, Marco from Whiteboard Finance, and everyone's favorite, Matt Diavella, who all make finance, if not relatively related to finance content, and they are all based in America. I live in Australia, but I get relevant information from all of them and I've put a lot of the ideas that they've presented in their videos to, to use and it's bettered me financially. It's bettered me over the tail of time because I've put them into effect knowing that if I'm consistent with them, it will pay off. One big one is investing, something that I only have recently gotten into in the last couple of years, but now I understand so much more because of the content that they make. Same with Matt Diavella and the way he lives his life. It's super interesting how they cover really complex topics or even simple topics and they make it something that you want to try. It's really interesting and that's why they're on my list. Ultimately, each of these channels offer different ideas, not necessarily just surrounding finance, but ideas that you can put into practice. So I highly recommend checking them out. So do that in your own free time if it's something that you're interested in learning. And the last resource I'm going to cover is Reddit. Reddit is one of my biggest go-tos. There are lots of easy to navigate communities which provide really good financial advice on very specific topics. A few examples of the subreddits that I frequent include things like Oz Finance, Finance, and Personal Finance, which are all finance related. And within here, lots of discussions take place about any topic related to finance. We're talking real estate, work, superannuation, 401ks, saving, anything that you can think of, investing, and basically you can 
get an answer from lots of different people to build your own knowledge on the topics. I've left links down in the description below to everything that I've mentioned within this video. While you're down there, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps the channel grow. Now at the very beginning of your journey, I would say consume this content regularly and get in the habit of just having it going in the background when you have some free time. It doesn't have to be 24 hours a day, but at least once a day, just try and consume a little bit of that information because it will be valuable down the line. From here, I would hone in on specific topics which directly align to your specific goals. You may want to buy a house, you may want to invest in the stock market, you may want to get into cryptocurrency, you may want to budget, anything really that is applicable, this is where you can then hone in on the types of content you consume to learn more about things that will benefit you when trying to put an action plan in place to achieve those goals. The point is to use the resources available to you to get a better understanding of what you need to do in order to achieve these goals. You will quickly pick up little tips and tricks which will eventually snowball into your own personal way of managing your finances and money. And the outcome of that, just as an example, let's use, I don't know, me. Over the past five years, I've kind of worked towards this goal where I'm now saving, and I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but I'm saving about 80% of the money that I bring in and I still live a relatively good life. Yes, it may change as the future comes into play. However, I'm going to be focused on making that the most that it possibly can be while still being able to live a fulfilling life. Even if you are someone who manages your money well and is in control of your finances, I hope that the resources I've talked about and discussed in today's video, I hope they're useful to you. I hope that I've given you some guidance into how you can now start looking for resources which will help you on your journey to better your finances. Overall, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next one.